Subscribe to Highest Good, where we tell you your future. My dear Aries, welcome back. On Monday, the Five of Cups indicates you've been allowing yourself to wade in a sea of regret and disappointment while the pain you're feeling is very real and shouldn't be minimized. It isn't a free pass to stay stuck in this mode forever. By choosing to focus on your perceived failures or mistakes, you can't see the positive things right in front of you, nor can you move on toward greener pastures. There's still hope and it's important this week that you find where that hope is and shift your attention to On Tuesday, the Eight of Pentacles is encouraging you to put your creative talents to good use and work hard at them. The more you create and hone your craft, the more others will take notice of what you're doing and the more inspired you will become. By putting yourself out there, you give others the opportunity to recognize your abilities and talents and this can serve as the motivation needed to continue to produce things you're really proud of. So get out there and become the master of your domain. On Wednesday, the sun is truly shining down on you. This card represents abundance, optimism, success and the warmth of a happy time in your life. It may be that you've been going through a tumultuous time in your life, feeling as though there wasn't an end in sight. Well, it's always darkest before the dawn and dawn has arrived. Through these obstacles, you've learned a lot about yourself and have gained confidence from knowing that you can weather any storm. Enjoy this period of positivity because you've earned it. On Thursday, you may feel compelled to go above and beyond for others. The Six of Pentacles is a card of generosity, charity and giving and receiving. This could be in a literal sense indicating that you may give someone a loan or some other kind of financial support. However, this could also be a time when you are generous in spirit, helping someone move, lending advice or offering much needed support to a loved one going through a tough time. Some of the most treasured gifts we give to others are our free time and it is always free. On Friday, you've been called to separate yourself for a disappointing situation or unfulfilling relationship in your life. The Eight of Cups acknowledges that this split will be painful, especially since you've devoted so much time and energy into it. In fact, this could be one of the reasons you haven't moved on already. Rather than focusing on what the situation could have been or hoping things will change, accept it for what it is. Remember, leaving will hurt you temporarily, but staying could hurt you more in the long run. On Saturday, the Three of Swords wants to recognize the grief or heartbreak you may be currently suffering from. Perhaps there's been a betrayal or it could be that you're experiencing some sort of mental anguish. This card is asking you to persevere and stay in control of your emotions so that you can move forward without falling apart. Just be sure that in your efforts to remain strong, you don't become permanently detached. If you remain in touch with your emotional side, you could come out on the other side of the situation capable of loving even more than you were before. On Sunday, you could be on the verge of a decision that will have a long-lasting impact. You've been at this crossroads for a while, unsure of which path to go down. The judgment card knows the best choices comes from the perfect blending of head and heart. This means you should not only look 
to your past for tangible lessons you've learned but you must also connect with your inner self and listen to what your intuition is trying to tell you this is the week to make your decision and you already have everything you need to do so to get your daily prediction updates from our team of psychics subscribe to highest good and click on the bell notification and never miss a prediction.